And I talked about uh, you know finance management for SMEs and path to profitability. I think it was a great audience uh, here in terms of lots of SMEs, and therefore uh, my idea was to give them you know basic inputs in terms of how we would like to see their businesses managed, in terms of uh, financial management, in terms of various aspects of uh, risk management, reducing concentration risk, uh, managing liquidity as well as uh, managing foreign currency uh, fluctuations. So that was the main uh, focus of my presentation today and I thoroughly enjoyed uh, you know, speaking to the audience here today and uh, I wish them all the best. I hope they apply some principles when they go back and do not forget them. That was in terms of liquidity management. To my mind, uh, liquidity management is the most important uh, uh, requirement, whether it is an SME, large corporates, actually even individuals, because a lot of people confuse uh, asset or, you know, or fixed assets with liquidity and they don't realize you know, the loss or the, the, the problems they could face because of uh, liquidity management or, or poor liquidity management till it is too late. And therefore, this, this is the fundamental that every business and particularly small businesses must adhere to because one must remember that unlike large corporates, they do not have uh, you know, such a strong position to demand immediate cash payments from their customers or uh, you know, dictate better terms from their suppliers because both suppliers and customers are typically large corporates and so their bargaining power is really, really low. The second most important point is in terms of large projects. Uh, you know, thorough project evaluation before they uh, you know, move forward, they undertake projects do a, a full cost-benefit analysis before they really uh, go ahead with the project. Take great care in terms of the debt-to-equity funding for their projects because every rupee borrowed you know, has to be repaid back and there could be time delays in terms of projects, cost overruns, uh, time taken for the projects to stabilize before the uh, commercial production starts in full steam. So all these kinds of problems need to be anticipated and a lot of corporates go for uh, over expansion you know, or capacity expansion far in excess of their requirements and there they, they could falter. That was the second aspect covered. The third aspect was in terms of foreign exchange currency uh, risk management. This is becoming an important uh, area of concern for both small and large corporates because of the huge volatility in foreign currency. And in this, uh, uh, one of the things that, that, we really, that I really uh, discussed and looked at was to keep a consistent strategy of hedging, to ensure that hedging is not used as a profit-making tool, but is used purely for risk mitigation, risk reduction. So these are the, the main aspects that I covered. And finally, I looked at how a banker looks at, uh, at, at uh, the SMEs and what they want uh, SMEs to do. And therefore, uh, uh, you know, how uh, SMEs should try to maintain their financial discipline, their accounting, their profitability, uh, you know, their debt to equity, and various other aspects of their business and financials, ma ensuring that they don't change banks too frequently or auditors too frequently, because all these, and their bank account conducts in absolute order, because these are the things which have a negative impact on their, uh, you know, overall uh, outlook as far as banks are concerned today and tomorrow when they go for listing uh, in the SME uh, listing space, uh, uh, that could also have a major impact. Thank you so much.